Uh, hello, Madonna. Welcome to Connexion. Uh, congratulations on your new album. It's Thank great. You. And uh, on your kid, Rocco. Mm. How is he doing? How's He's Rocco? great. Huh? He's great. He's beautiful and healthy and, and I love him madly. How did you come up with a name? Rocco? Yeah. Um, well, I wanted to name him something Italian because I am. And I knew he was going to have an English last name. So we just went through lists and lists of names and I went through all the names of all my relatives and I have an uncle named Rocco and one of my favorite movies in the world is a film called Rocco and His Brothers, a Visconti film. Yeah. So, and uh, basically it's the only Italian name I could come up with that Guy liked, so. <laughs> so don't you think that um, women in general would be better prepared to have kids after 30, 35? Do I think that? Yeah, no, I think. Um, I mean, oh, I, think I, think I think a lot that. of women are waiting to have children, anyways. I think mm -hmm. a lot of women are, want to concentrate on their careers, and I think it's becoming more and more common. But it wouldn't have been the same if you have had a kid when we were 22. I wasn't ready when I was 30 to have a kid. Forget it. No, no. Much too selfish. <laughs> are you more? I mean, are you more? Um, how do you say? Um, <laughs> no, because you get, <laughs> you know, I saw you like thinking and then I got distracted. But are you more, um, uh, do you have like more hope or are you more optimistic, would be the word, about, uh, in, about love and relationships than you were years yes. ago? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Yes. Um, you know, our audience in Latin America, they knew we were going to talk with you and so they sent a lot, a lot, millions of questions, so we oh have dear. some of them. Okay. Uh, Lionel Garza uh, Montelongo from Mexico mm -hmm. uh, asks, in the making of like a version, you almost get eaten by a lion. Mm -hmm. In rain, you were wet for a few days. In Take a Bow, uh, it was winter in Spain. And in music, you were pregnant. What has been the most difficult video to make? The most uncomfortable video that I made was um the Frozen, the one I made in the desert, because I've never been so cold in my life. And we filmed in the evening, and the desert at night is, is br brutally cold. And I, and I had to dance barefoot for hours and hours and hours, and I wasn't dressed very warm, and it was miserable. Very worth it. It was a beautiful, it's a beautiful video. Thank you. So, but in music, you invited two friends, right? Basically, the, the video itself is kind of a a spoof of all the videos that a lot of rap artists make, you know, guys go out for a night in the town, they go riding around in their limousine with their friends, they go to parties, they go to strip clubs, whatever, so I, I tried to cast actresses or models in the part, but none of them, I, th I felt like they were all too stiff, and so I just called up my girlfriends, who are both used to being on stage and in front of cameras, and, and uh, I thought it worked out really good. Those, are those friends from before? Oh, well, I've known friends? Debbie and Nikki for years. Oh, yeah? Absolutely, yeah. So they're very easy with me. Do you still keep friends, you know, like from before? I don't Sorry. have a lot of friends um, from... I mean, I'd say Debbie is one, one of my oldest friends. I've known her for, I don't know, probably 18 years. And Nikki I've known since I first started performing mm -hmm. and going on the road. So they are definitely some of my oldest friends, but I don't have a lot of friends, believe it or not. <laughs> I don't think anyone does, really. <laughs> yeah, sometimes it takes, you know, like 10 years to come up with one. It's, Maybe, you know, like yeah, it's life. hard to find a really good friend. Well, I'm sure you have fun making the video with them. Mm. Um, so you mentioned uh, uh, that you were surprised about the, the success of Ray of Light. Mm -hmm. uh, are you surprised about you know what's going on now with music? I'm always surprised. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I am. I mean, you know, my competition. There's nobody over the age of 20, so mm -hmm. um, yeah, I'm surprised. I'm happy. Yeah, how do you feel? You know, sharing you know the charts also with uh, uh, Christina Aguilera, with Britney Spears, with Backstreet Boys, and mm. how do you see yourself there? How do you feel about that? I just, I'm just grateful that people want to buy my record and, you know, um, I haven't got any bad, anything bad to say about anybody. You mentioned that when you, you, you heard for the first time uh, Midway's work, mm -hmm. you, you heard uh, the future of sound. Yeah. How, how would you describe that? Well, he's a very intellectual person and he's a very um, 
sensitive person, and yet his set, there's something, you know, minimalist and withholding about his sound. And I like the juxtaposition of of, um, of feeling with machinery, and I think that that is what Mirwes's sound is. And I think that is kind of, in a way, as we sort of, you know, get further and further, you know, advanced technologically to try and find emotion and feeling in that in that world is is, is a great challenge. Yeah. So that's why I think it's the sound of the future. So uh, we had another question from Gabriel Gustavo de Luca from Buenos Aires, Argentina. He said, why is there the impression that sometimes you, re you regret about the music that you did in the 80s? For example, like a version. Well, it's not that I regret it, but it's kind of like looking at a picture of yourself in high school. And you know, there's like serious cringe factor, like when you look at your hairstyle or something. You go, oh God, what was I thinking? <laughs> sort of like that period of time is forever, you know, is forever captured and you have to keep looking at it whether you like it or not. Um, it's kind of like just looking at your high school yearbook in a way. Do you think that now, you know, we were talking about, you know, all the current scene, you know, Backstreet Boys and all the boy bands and all the, the, the people that are in the charts today, like they, they took the place like almost the rock had. So how, how do you feel about that? Do you feel that there is, for example, a lot of artists that are being Overlooked. left behind? Yeah, I do. I mean, I think there's a lot of incredible artists who that are overlooked um on the other hand radiohead they're amazing mm -hmm. they're cutting edge they're innovative they're i i think that that's art and they were their record was number one mm -hmm. um so good stuff manages to make its way up to the top of the charts too <laughs> you uh now um started the, the, the Latin division of uh, Maverick. Mm -hmm. So, are you going to be involved in the process of signing or even searching maybe, not searching? Um, well, I wouldn't say artists. I'm out there, you know, going to clubs every night looking for mm -hmm. somebody, but if I hear stuff or I know about somebody that I really like, I'm definitely going to get involved with trying to get them signed. I have a, another question that is uh, Gabriela Esposito from Argentina and oh. Alejandro Animas from Mexico. Uh, they both ask kind of the same question. Uh, do you have a new movie uh, project coming up? Uh, or I have a couple of scripts that I'm mm -hmm. reading that I really want to do and it's just um, hopefully one of them is going to come together before the supposedly there's supposed to be an after strike next mm -hmm. year so we'll see what happens. Manuel Frascaroli from Cordoba, Argentina, he's saying, what do you think that there is still some kind of fear to show in videos the different sexual inclinations of people? Sexual inclinations, you mean like sexual preferences? Yeah. You mean like homosexuality, exactly. for instance? Exactly, I'm sure he says, yeah. In videos? Yeah. He's saying basically that. It all over the world or in America? Um, I'm sure he's asking about all, all, all over, over the, the world. world. Because there are a lot of people who are still incredibly um, uncomfortable with the idea of homosexuality. Okay, Manuel, I didn't have a question. Sorry, Manuel, <laughs> you're gonna have to live with that. So, um, <laughs> you, you have uh, plans to go on tour. Do you miss the performing? You haven't been yeah. on tour for a while. Yeah, I do. Yeah? Yeah. We hope to see you soon in Latin America. I hope to be there soon. Thanks a lot for being in Conexión. Ya continuamos aquí en Conexión.